Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. This morning, when I went for a walk to catch the sunrise, I was greeted by one of the most spectacular sunrises that I have seen for quite some time. This is one of those days. I would say to myself that I am glad to be alive. To enjoy such a magnificent scene of nature. So okay, let's get to today's video, which I would like to tell you a little bit about soy sauce. And first of all, I would like to tell you a little bit about Sonia because she taught me everything that I know about soy sauce. This story goes back nearly、uh, 45 years ago when I was a graduate student at the University of Wisconsin in medicine.、Uh, at the time, I was a graduate student in the、uh, medical microbiology department, and she was a student in the、uh, social anthropology department. I remember at the time、uh, she was writing a paper on the social anthropology of soy sauce. And、uh, in the paper, that contains some aspect about microbiology, and she asked me to take a look at it to make sure everything is accurate.、Uh, even though I have been uh, eating uh, food with soy sauce for many, many years, I really know very little about soy sauce. So reading that paper was a tremendous education for me.、Uh, the first thing she discussed in that paper is tracing the history of the development of soy sauce. In the paper, Sonia referred to soy sauce as probably one of the longest used sauce in the history of mankind. It started out from China about 2,200 years ago. The nature of the soy sauce and the method of production is about almost the same over this time period. So I could imagine the soy sauce I'm using today is being used by somebody 2,500 years ago. A、soybean has been cultivated in China for a long period of times, so I could imagine that the discovery is probably accidental.、Uh, one could imagine the earliest discovery is that、uh, when soybean、uh, become wet, a、uh, mold start to grow on it. The mold that grow on the soybean、uh, is commonly found to grow on other vegetables such as tomato.、Uh, here's a picture of the mold growing on some tomatoes.、Uh, there is a group of mold known as aspergillus. And one、uh, member of this group is responsible for fermenting the soybean and producing soy sauce.、Uh, by mixing、uh, this、uh, soybean fermented soybean paste with roasted grain and as well as salt water, and this is how soy sauce、uh, is created. A、uh, soy sauce has a very distinctive taste, as most of you、uh, will recognize. But most importantly, is that soy sauce are known to contain a lot of、uh, umami flavor molecules. That's why make them tasty.、Uh, until very recently, in the early part of human history, a、uh, salt is a expensive commodity, particularly for people who are not living along the ocean. So by mixing salt water or brine、uh, with the fermented soybean paste, it will allow salt to go a little bit further in cooking. So over this period, a soy sauce has been spread to other part of Asia, first to Japan, to Korea,、uh, to Vietnam, Southeast Asia, and all the way to Indonesia. Uh, in Sanya's paper, she discussed the importance of soy sauce in different cultures and how they play a role in shape their cuisines.、Uh, at the same time, soy sauce also undergo changes.、Uh, each individual culture develops their own soy sauce.、Uh, soy sauce eventually、uh, spread to Europe, and finally, soy sauce came to、uh, North America. The first place that soy sauce being first adopted is in Hawaii. Now, of course, soy sauce is known all over the world.、Uh, soy sauce are used in many different capacity in different culture. For example,、uh, in most places, soy sauce are used for cooking. However, today, soy sauce also used as a dipping sauce, as well as add to food ingredients.、Uh, you will find in most Asian restaurants, they will have a bottle of soy sauce sitting on the dining table.、Uh, soy sauce、uh, is found. On the dinner table of all Chinese restaurants in America.、Uh, when I first came to the United States, I remember I tasted those soy sauce and I said, "No soy sauce are not exactly what I used to." The soy sauce in the Chinese restaurant in those days remind me actually of the dark soy sauce that I accustomed to when I was growing up. At the same time, they do not quite taste the same, and I、uh, did not like it at all.、Uh, so in Chinese cooking, there are Two types of soy sauce that are commonly used for cooking.、Uh, one is called the light soy sauce. 
and also known as San Chou. Uh, the Chinese character San uh, means fresh. Uh, the second character Chou uh, means retrieve. Uh, so when you put these two characters together, uh, they mean freshly retrieved. In here, I would like to make the analogy uh, to uh, olive oil. Now, uh, olive oil is divided into several different classes. One is called the extra virgin olive oil. Those olive oil are being retrieved during the first pressing of the olive. And they usually refer to the olive oil has the highest quality. A light soy sauce is pretty much the same. It means that those are the soy sauce that are first being retrieved uh, after fermentation. Uh, consequently, the light soy sauce is lighter in color. Uh, as well, uh, they are more salty. Uh, furthermore, they are more rich in umami flavor. Uh, consequently, people use light soy sauce uh, if they do not want to darken the food too much. At the same time, they would like to have a more exquisite taste uh, to the dish. A light soy sauce is particularly popular in Cantonese cooking uh, because they want the food uh, to be more uh, exquisite in flavor and texture and without this uh, added color change. Uh, so after the first retrieval, uh, the remaining material uh, in the soy sauce fermentation uh, will allow probably to ferment a little bit longer. Uh, therefore, they become thicker as well as darker in color. Uh, so most people do not use the dark sauce in uh, cooking as much as in light soy sauce unless they want to darken the color of the dish. Uh, I use both light soy sauce and dark soy sauce in my cooking. Uh, however, I try to use as little as possible uh, because of the issue in regards to salt. Uh, most of the time when I cook vegetables, uh, I use my basic seasoning mix. Uh, the intention of that is to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients. Uh, if you would like to know more about the individual components in my basic seasoning mix, uh, you can take a look at this video. I use dark soy sauce when I cook teriyaki chicken uh, because that will give the coloration that associate with this dish. In other dishes, when I use the dark soy sauce a lot of time, uh, I use it for create the color that I want. Uh, if I want a dish to be more salty, then I will add the light soy sauce. In many ways for me, um, the oyster sauce has pretty much supplanted soy sauce because the oyster sauce also contains uh, the soy sauce flavor, but it contains some other flavor as well. It makes the dish more savory in comparison to just soy sauce. Uh, today, there's another kind of soy sauce that's very popular on the market. Uh, they call it mushroom soy sauce. Uh, this is a version of the dark soy sauce. Uh, what this soy sauce is, is that take the original dark soy sauce, but it's infused uh, with extract from straw mushroom. Uh, the straw mushroom not only provides a dark coloration, but at the same time, it provides a complex uh, flavor to the soy sauce. Uh, I have used both of the dark soy sauce, but I prefer the mushroom dark soy sauce better uh, because it is more flavorful. Uh, soy sauce often uh, used as a dipping sauce uh, or add to food ingredients that are already cooked. Uh, most people prefer the light soy sauce over the dark soy sauce. Uh, you can uh, try it and decide what you prefer. Uh, to me, the light soy sauce has a much more refreshing taste to it. I think this is where the flavor chasing part of my cooking system come in. Uh, you should have both soy sauce available in your kitchen and you can always test them and by using different combinations and to see what is the flavor that you created, you enjoy most. Uh, soy sauces are now available in uh, most uh, supermarkets. For example, uh, Walmart has a section of different kind of soy sauce, but uh, they normally do not have the dark soy sauce on their shelf. Uh, however, you can order them online, either through Walmart or through Amazon. Uh, they are more expensive when you order them like this. If you go to an Asian store, uh, they are probably about half the price. Uh, there are a whole lot more I can talk about soy sauce, and unfortunately, uh, there's just not enough time to discuss all of them. And I will try to do uh, another video in the future and to talk about the light soy sauce and also other kinds of soy sauce. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like icon below because that will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, I'm posting a video usually about one every day. And if you'd like to receive notifications of my future videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll uh, see you next time.